Welcome. Let's talk about the coronavirus. See, our governor closed businesses, required us all to wear masks, said to call the police if people have more than six people over for Thanksgiving or for any gathering. By the way, Marion County, where I live, zero people called. Well done. Anyway, let's talk about the science because science is science and important. Did you know that a lot of the science we think is true is not true? I'm all for using science. I am a person who wears a mask when I go out. I maintain social distancing to the best of my ability because I want to be a little cautious. We're in a weird time right now. The virus is not as deadly as they first thought. Statistics show that. That is science. And very contagious, apparently. But let's talk real science. Let's not talk, oh, well, so-and-so said this, so-and-so said that. You know, Dr. Fauci said don't wear masks back in February. He said they won't do any good. He changed his mind later and changed his story to, well, I wanted to keep the N95 masks for medical people. Nonsense. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. He did not think it was necessary at the time. If he did, he lied to us and he should not be a doctor. So, how do we find science? Science is not just some medical person thinks this. Those are theories. Let's look at the real science of stuff. And I don't think we're doing it. On Wednesday, actually Thursday, because we won't get the results until Thursday, we should, we should see a decrease in the number of people with COVID in Oregon. If the governor's medically based, science based ideas are right. We started out on the 18th with 1,100 cases that day. Yesterday and the day before, we had 1,600. Now, granted, Thanksgiving week was down, but it's heading right back up. I'm willing to give it a couple days, but then I'm going to ask you, Governor, what is the science? What science are you basing this on? What science are you basing having only six people at a gathering? Where does that come from? Did you make up that science? What science shows that? I have not been able to find it. You've closed restaurant after restaurant. In theory, I kind of get the concept. It kind of makes sense to me. But I have yet to be able to find the tracking information that you're basing this on. That people are getting sick from restaurants. I have just not found it. I'm guessing you have it. And I'd appreciate it if you'd share or if somebody else out there knows where this information is coming from. Tell me. But to just say close restaurants, science tells us to do that, produce the science. That's all I'm asking. When the governor took over as governor, she said this is going to be the most transparent governorship ever, as transparent as can be. Can't, I can't find diddly. And I'm decent at looking on the internet to find stuff. But I think we do need to follow the science. And not be afraid to admit what the science says. I could care less what the talking heads on TV say. They're just paid to talk and raise hate. I don't really care what Governor Brown says. I care what the science says because it's important to follow what the science says. And I'm not trying to say we should all run around and do stuff, but I read a very impressive paper recently that's been signed by over 4,300, that's 43, not 100,000, 43,000 doctors from around the world, from Harvard, from Oxford, from Stanford, big time docs. 
they're prescribing a plan to follow. Now, I'm not sure they're right or wrong. Their science seems to be a lot better than anything I've seen. But I think we need to look in what's working in other countries, what other people are doing. Now, New Zealand did a fantastic job. They just shut everything down. They're doing really well. That's not real practical where we live. Where is it? I don't know. But I think we need to look to see what are the best practices elsewhere and follow those. Don't just make up science. And we're doing that. You know that the six feet rule is silly. That was came from a science thing way back 80 years ago because they figured that's how far out you sneeze. When they test the COVID virus, they repeatedly found it goes 13 to 20 feet. So six feet, the particles are still flying. They also found that the coronavirus can live floating in the air for three hours. Three hours. Six feet ain't gonna help you. Look the science up yourself. Don't take it from me. Look it up yourself. Use your own brains. Stop listening to the people that tell you things that just simply aren't science or ancient science. Well, I truly hope the governor was right. And in a couple days, our numbers go down. If not, what, what's she going to do? Do the same thing again? Governor, I plead with you, look at the science, the real science, not somebody who has a doctor's name, but the people who are really there, the people who are looking at different things, looking at this differently. There's some solutions out there. I don't know what they are, but we need to find them. And Dr. Fauci himself said that a vaccination is not the solution. It's not going to stop this. So I think we need to really look and come up with some real practices that work. Not this stuff we're doing that take our numbers from 1,100 new cases a day to 1,600. When we're supposed to be going the opposite way by practicing what you say. Oh, well, that's my rant for the day. And um, I will be back again tomorrow. Thank you.